America's strongest hope. Earlier in the day, we heard him talking to his two new coaches. Okay. I'll get all of the, yeah. the energy I've worked for and put it together into the feeling of the program. Feeling. For more on the Christopher Bowman soap opera, here's Tracy Wilson. Vern, Christopher Bowman has held a vow of silence during this competition. No interviews were granted to the media. But I spoke with Christopher and he said, Tracy, there's really nothing to tell, except that it's going to take time. Any time you make drastic changes, it takes time to see the results. At last year's World Figure Skating Championships, Christopher Bowman was once again the showman. But the focus of his theatrics centered not around his bronze medal performance. Instead, attention centered around his rocky 18-year relationship with coach Frank Carroll. It was an image that troubled Christopher, an image that needed to change. I thought maybe... Well, I mean, you were like right here and, you know, I'm playing for you. We had time. Okay. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'd love to have a drink. Help. I haven't even had dinner. Help me. Where are you going? Are you coming downstairs? I'm a prisoner. Oh, you can't. Prisoner in your own mind. I wouldn't say he's out of control, but I think he's near being out of control. And, uh, you know, I try to do what I can, but sometimes I'm very frustrated. Yeah. Do you think you drive Frank crazy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, th I, I think I do. Uh, I think I do drive. I think I, I drive a lot of people crazy with... I think my attitude and and some people I think enjoy it and some people don't I mean it's very mixed that's why it's kind of controversial I would like it to be you know Christopher Bowman you know uh, the world champion the Olympic champion and do everything that it takes to get there but the same at the same time I don't want it to be where you know I'm I'm held back as a person Six months later, the situation worsened at the Goodwill Games in Seattle. Overweight and out of shape, Bowman huffed and puffed his way to a sixth place finish. I think that training is really the, is, is the key thing. The training for me, I've had some difficult training adjustments, locations, um, things like that. Uh, I'm working through it. It's the middle of the year and I gotta pick myself up and go forward. That's the only way I can determine whether I'm gonna be the best or not. Bowman realized his days with Carol were finished. Looking to discover himself, Bowman left California and headed north to Toronto, where he started anew with coach Ellen Burka and 1976 Olympic bronze medalist Toller Cranston. Burka and Cranston realized Bowman needed a transformation. He's a new Christopher in practice. He's serious, focused, and intense. But the Christopher who was so willing to share his opinions and his spirit with us last year is gone. Part of his treatment is silence to the media. There's nothing to be said. There's nothing that he can possibly say. What can he say? I'm like a changed person. The only thing that he can do is to skate well and prove to everybody through his skating that he really wants to do it, that he's a reformed uh, athlete, and that he is uh, putting his best foot forward. But there's nothing to be said. And now the moment for Christopher Bowman, his former coach Frank Carroll looking on as is his good friend Victor Petrenko. Impossible for Bowman to catch Petrenko, but he needs to skate well. This could be the most important performance of Christopher Bowman's life. A lot of the international judges have given up on him thinking that he was washed up. The changes he's made with Tyler and Allen have to show up in this performance. Otherwise, he's got a lot more hurdles to overcome. His first jump, a triple Lutz. He hits it. Normally, he'd do a triple axle here, but he hasn't been working the triple axle. He wants to skate clean, but he'll need that triple axle if he wants to be competitive with Petrenko and Browning. This has been his money jump his whole life, I think. Triple flip, beautifully landed in the double toller.
Christopher Bowman, now 23 years of age. He has been on the international and national scene for a long, long time. How tough for him to make these changes, Scott? I don't think it's that tough. I think the, the hardest part for him is going to be to prove that every decision he made was the right one. When I moved to Don Laws in 1980, it was the best decision I ever made because he gave me something I desperately needed. And I think Tyler and Ellen could give Christopher something he desperately needs. Which is what? Discipline? Discipline, uh, renewed interest, uh, a brand new excitement about what he's doing. When you're on the scene a long time and he was with Frank for 18 years, things get boring day to day. Beautiful triple loop. I don't think I've ever seen Christopher this focused on the ice. But not so focused that he can't still try and wow the judges, as he just did. Nice triple toe loop. You know, watching this program is very reminiscent of Tyler Cranston style, Christopher's new choreographer. Very artistic, very flamboyant. His other coach, Ellen Burke, is used to stormy, rocky relationships. She had a really serious one with Tyler Cranston. So Christopher's in great hands. Well, as a part of his lifestyle change, he, of course, has moved to Toronto. And he is living with Tyler Cranston, who says he locks the doors to keep him in at night. Beautiful triple sack out. Look at the confidence he's skating with. It's like he's not even doubting anything. This is not the same Christopher Bowman that was at the Goodwill Games. The relationship, though stormy, remains friendly between the two. And Tyler Cranston, Ellen Burka, and the new Christopher Bowman. Petrenko seems to approve. They're close friends. We'll be back with Christopher Bowman's scores after this message. Here's another look at the jump that Christopher Bowman used to open his program at Triple Lutz. Now notice, he'll be tilted a little bit to the right, but that's okay. If you're going to tilt the jump, tilt it to the right because that's the foot you're going to land on, and it makes it a lot easier to land if you're tilted that way. This jump will be a triple axel at the Olympics, otherwise he won't be competitive. Victor Petrenko did two triple axles. Bowman's going to need at least one to be competitive. Now those agonizing few moments while Christopher Bowman waits for the judges' marks, and here they are, the marks for technical merit. Well, this will tell a lot. I don't think after a performance like that, he's really concerned with the marks, but he got a 5.8, some 5.7s, a 5.4 from the Swiss judge. So maybe the Swiss judge isn't convinced that the change has been made. But still, a great performance, and he had a lot to prove, and he did it. 
Uh, what about the marks for artistic impression? Well, these are a lot better. Two five nines, five five eights. But the Swiss judge and the British judge, five six five five. I don't think they're convinced yet. 